for the second part of this tutorial I will show you how to do the game HTML binding the game logic for this game will be as simple as counting the number of projectiles fired and uh, taking damage if the character is hit by any of the projectiles um, we will use the same game mode that was created in the first part of uh, this tutorial the only thing we will change is the default pound class it will be a subclass of my character uh, subclassing is done by right clicking on the blueprint you want to subclass and create blueprint based on this uh, this will create a new blueprint which inherits everything from the class that it was based on and you should see something like this so now I will create two variables uh, both of them will be integers and they will be held and shots fired this will hold the current amount of shots that have been fired by the player Okay, and the health will be 100, it's default value, and the shots fired will start from zero. Now, we would like to increment the shots fired every time the player has fired. So first we have to know when the player has fired. There is an uh, input fire event that we could use and every time the player has fired we would like to increment the shots fired value we should get it first then use add integer was one. After we have incremented its value, we would like to pass it to the game head. In order to do that, we have to get the head first from the player controller. Then get the game head. and then cast it to coherent UI game head. Now we have to get the coherent UI game head and from it we can create a JavaScript event. Here it is. Now, when we create the event, we would like to send the shots fired as a parameter. So we have to use the add int 32 because the shots fired is an integer. Now, uh, after we have added the shot fire parameter, we should trigger the event. This is done from the coherent UI hut. It has method trigger JavaScript event. And for a payload, we should set uh, its uh, return value of the created JavaScript event. The method that we have set up our HTML and JavaScript with is called change ammo and this should be the whole blueprint for the shots fired animation bar in our HUD
Let's see what we have so far. Okay, now you can see that the shots fired is increasing. And the player fires. And now we will do the health being decreased in the UI when you're getting hit by a projectile. Now we would like to do the same thing but with the health. We want to to take damage from the projectiles we are shooting and uh, the damage should be reflected in our HUD. Um, first we will need event hit that is triggered every time uh, the character quiets with the physics object would like to know the name of the quieter there are there are many ways to well not that many but some ways to detect what we are quieting with and if it is the my projectile blueprint or object spawned from that blueprint um, the one I have chosen is quite e easy to execute uh, there are other possible implementations using tags and checking the tags of the quieters uh, the one that I will use is just to get the substring from the other quieter and compare it with uh, my projectile Now, uh, every time an object is spawned, it takes its blueprint name plus a suffix, and the name of the projectiles is my pro is my projectile. Here it is. So the spawned objects from this blueprint will be called my projectile underscore something. So if we have the first two of symbols matched, then we are being hit by a projectile. This is the logic behind it. So we want a branch here. Like this. And if we are being hit by my projectile, we want to decrement the health. We want to get the current health. Uh, subtract uh, 5, for example, from it. That would be the damage that our product has caused. And then we have to send the current health to the HUD. To do this we have to get the HUD again from the player controller. Cast it to the coherent UI game hood class. Get the coherent UI hood. And now create another JavaScript event.
that will pass the current health as a parameter to the HTML. I could make it more cleaner. Like this. After we have added the health as parameter, we have to trigger the JavaScript event. With the output from the create java script event box and with the name change hp this is the name that is set up that our h that our html is set up to listen for so so the ui can react on it okay this should be everything for setting up the health Let's see what we have. You can see now that the shot part are being animated and also the health is decreased when we're getting hit by a projectile. This was the end of the second part of this tutorial. In the third part I will show you how to do the HTML game binding.